Come on, Full House. Oh, yes. Wait a minute. Who gets to be DJ Tanner? <laughs> come on, most of Full House. <laughs> yes, like, come on, Family Matters. Come on, Family go. Matters. There we go. Oh, my God. Come on, Proud Family. Okay. Oh, let's see. I, I have a Penny family. Funko here. Oh, my God, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the cup, the currently unnamed podcast where we put the real and the tea in reality. And you can always come to us first to quench your thirst. I'm Logan Murphy. Say something gay. Gay. Thank you. David, you'll get it. Uh, <laughs> eventually. Um, I would just like to say, first of all, that I am sending Cheryl home. No, I'm kidding. I love you, Cheryl. Um, <laughs> And I'm drinking, this. it's this cute herbal spritzer from Kavita, not sponsored, but I wish we were. Um, it's orange and sage. Okay. It's some white people shit, but like, it's good. I mean, herbal remedy, that's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had a long weekend, so Lord knows I need it. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> I am Brandon, your professional fangirl of drag concerts and, oh, oh God, I almost like that video. <laughs> It's been a minute. <laughs> it's been a minute, yes. Um, also, introducing my super gay fan, because I got this for free, by the way. So, word. <laughs> um, as usual, water, because hydration is important. And also, I'm too lazy to get my mug downstairs, if I'll be honest. But if we were to drink things out of a mug, I know Lana mm -hmm. probably has hers. Yes. <laughs> Stop at launchycreations.etsy.com. I mean, definitely Lana. Link Jesus. in the description below. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm Lana, by the way. You're a resident diva. Here to give the tea, spill the tea, and drink the tea because you know I love me some tea per. And, you know, I'm just drinking water today because hydration, clear skin, all of that beauty stuff. But, you know, if I was drinking out of my mug, <laughs> it would be this mug. And all the cool kids have one. And all the cool kids have one. and it, Or someone's on their way. I'm talking about you, Jack. Per is coming. Um, so if you want to get your mug, you know what to do. Y'all see the link below, lanagcreation.etsy.com. Hit me up. You'll get your mug. And then you'll be just like, all the good kids. Okay, I'm done. And I'm David. Um, I still don't have a cute intro, but if I keep coming around long enough, I'll probably find one. He doesn't I... have a cute intro, but he is cute. He's cute. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Very. You. Mm. Well, mm. Uh, like uh, the previous two people, I also am drinking water, and which I am too. The fuck. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, too. sorry. I mean, um, you, just, you just introduce your white people stuff. You didn't introduce your water. So. Exactly. Oh, I was confused. If I'm, if I'm filming a video, there's always water. No, don't don't do that to David. Don't do that. <laughs> Not today. Mm -mm. But also, I have decided that when I come on these videos. I'm going to wear a different drag queen shirt. So today, my first one is cornbread. Come on, Miss Bread. Yes. yes. Can't go wrong with that as the first one. I love me some cornbread. Period. She was a doll at drag cons. Oh, she's been great every time I've met her. And hello, guys. It is me. It is I, Mr. Talented, your favorite guy. And today, of course, we are drinking water sponsored by Mistress Couture Calais, Baby Doll, Baby Doll Fox, because hydration is very important, of course. And rounding out this motley crew of queers and queer passing individuals. Hi, uh, it's Brooke. The and Lana. Brooke, and Lana. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, what did you, you just go give me a label? <laughs> I was like, like wait. Lana's husband me. is queer, so. I'm an ally to the queer community, but don't label Talk me. Talk Valentina. Valentina. <laughs> She's an ally. Say hi, Valentina. Ally. <laughs> Come on, Lana. Damn it. Regardless, it is Brooke, the queer college graduate who plays way too much fucking Smash Bros. Actually going to a tournament this weekend, doing some commentary at uh, our great friend Chain Grab 2 in Canton, Ohio. So if you're on yes, Twitch, fish out. Top 32 and pool A. Uh, regardless, I am also to complete the lovely six tuplet drinking water. Everybody grab your water. <laughs> because as Brandon often reminds us, hydration is important. Um, 
And, you know, some of you may not have been introduced to our lovely friend, the Purple Marker, but she is back, baby. She is back and ready to crush the oh. bitch's dream because we have got some purple hoes already on this season of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars. Yeah. So, who's excited? I'm excited. And I'm thrilled. I have to Work. say... The purple marker is probably one of my favorite things. Like, Brooke could always pull out the purple marker at any time. And I'm like, who finna get it? Who finna get it? And I probably usually agree with the purple marker. So, let's go. I haven't been, I haven't been uh, in the same room as the purple marker yet, though I am familiar because, hi, I edit and post most of the videos. Uh, so, I've seen it. <laughs> I'm excited about whoever she's here, <laughs> and we are here finally talking about RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars Eight, Episode One and Episode Two, because Paramount Plus will not let us breathe on premiere day. God, especially y'all decided no, y'all de also decided to drop it literally the same day as Day One of DragCon. That part, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Did they like premiere the episode of DragCon? No, but there was a viewing party. Um, they brought the Roscoe's viewing party from Chicago to Heart WeHo, and it was hosted by Nasha. And thank God they showed, or unfortunately, they showed both episodes. Um, we'll talk about it. But um, yeah, it was Nasha, uh, Paramount Deville, and Daddy Davis. They all came to Heart WeHo on Friday. Mm -hmm. But yes. And I think so. we all saw that video where RuPaul had to have everybody say it with her so she knew what season was premiering that day uh-huh <laughs> oh yeah she's like today is the premiere of uh -oh. rupaul's drag race all stars eight rupaul does not know where she is anymore <laughs> mind you everybody I'm said sure. old she's had well she's had a little bit of a break because they filmed uk i don't think they filmed down under three yet or they might have actually just finished filming all um down under three, but I think they have. Anyway, we're talking about Drag Race. We're talking about both episodes today because, quite frankly, it would take longer to talk about both episodes separately. So, <laughs> oh, we're going to dive into the first two episodes. We've got this, whatever the hell this girl group was. Oh, God. Right. And the um, RDR Live Challenge. We will talk about both of them. So we already talked about uh, the entrance looks when we did our cast assessment. So if you want to go find out what we thought about the entrance looks, go over there. We do a lot of talking about that. Um, but Mr. Talented and David, y'all weren't here for uh, that. So if you have any thoughts on entrance looks, now would be the time to share them. I don't know if you do, but. Yeah, I would just say Jessica eight. She looks Jessica. so good. Uh, she way surpassed my expectations. Mm -hmm. I also think Lala Re looked great. And Candy looked great, and Jimbo was a choice. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with everything he just said. I don't know where <laughs> <laughs> Jimbo was a choice, and we spent some time talking about the choice that was made. Thank God the 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 massively large tits did not show up in either of these episodes, and quite frankly, I was happy. I so same. Mean I, I yeah I, I do agree. The choice of the outfit was interesting, but I will say this: after watching these two episodes, I have realized that I don't think Jimbo is being disrespectful on purpose. I just think no. the gag is they just like big tits, and that's okay because most people like big tits it is what it is <laughs> great men gay men like big tits it's just what it is and that's just part of the thing so now that i've seen what she does in drag i, I and i and i because i said on in the cast assessment that if she's doing it to be disrespectful to w bigger women then that's gross now you know i'm not a fan mm -hmm. of that but seeing her in her drag i'm like okay i don't think it's a a thing of being disrespectful to bigger women. It's just that's the gimmick she wants to go with, and tits yeah. is a big part of it. And so I'm not too mad at it. And even if, and when we'll talk about more, and once we start the conversation about the episodes, I'm seeing her drag as for what she is. Not mad at it. Still have to fill her out a little bit more, but I'm, I'm not. I'm not hating. I'm not like total 
off the bandwagon. Like, I don't hate her, but I'm not like on the bandwagon of being like her biggest stand. Yet. <laughs> we're not we're not close to giving out the stand card to Jim. No, <laughs> no I'm, not, I'm not there yet, but I am yeah. not on the she needs to be banned from yeah. drag altogether party. Yeah, and I, yeah I definitely, definitely not. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that as well. I think for me, it's just a matter of uh, proportionizing, honestly, is mm-hmm. like when she's wearing the big tits and the whole silicone suit, it doesn't match her proportionally. Because I don't think she wants it to. Yeah. I don't think that's the yeah. idea. I don't think she wants to either. Just for me, it looks weird. And that's where, like, that's where it takes it a little bit too far, just for me personally. Mm-hmm. But that size, it's probably like, what, a size G oh, breastplate geez. that she wore most of the episode in these two episodes. I was like, that's fine. I, mm-hmm. I, I loved when she wore all of her looks with those tits on UK versus the world, on Canada's drag race. Like, that's fine. It's just, for me, there's a bit of, there's, there's like a line where I'm like, if you go past it, mm-hmm. But, I mean, but right. yeah, I get you. Yeah, I yeah. I kind of would like to give my opinion on Jimbo since I wasn't Please. here for that. So yeah. for me, my perspective is that Jimbo is a comedy queen who happens to have very large boobs a lot of the time. Mm-hmm. I've never took it as that's the joke is that she has big boobs. It it would be like if she was a fashion queen with big boobs. It's just another part of her aesthetic. Um, I don't think her jokes are geared towards her boobs. Um, so I, I think there has been a bit of a misinterpretation of her intentions, but I respect that people feel the way they do. I just don't necessarily agree with a lot of people on that. So, And that's fair. Like it, um, Jimbo is kind of a, div- a divisive figure. And like, I, I will say I loved Jimbo on Canada's Drag Race and I love Jimbo on UK versus the world. And honestly, we'll talk more about it, but these two episodes, I'm really enjoying Jimbo. Same. Um, mm-hmm. It's just, it, there are moments where I just don't know if he knows the impact he's having. That's right. kind of, now that I've seen two episodes and we're seeing this newer Jimbo, I just don't know if he understands exactly that impact that it's having. I hope he does. And I hope he's like, he's listening to the people that are giving him a little bit of backlash. Some of it is going too far. Frankly, mm-hmm. a lot of it is going too far, um, in my personal opinion. But I just I hope that he's listening. Is and kind I, of all uh, all I have on that. I do hope people have grace with Jimbo, knowing this was filmed almost a year ago, yes. and that's really when that backlash started. So mm-hmm. she hasn't she hasn't had a chance to really show us that she's listening or changing um so like i i the the one thing that i really didn't like that i've seen jimbo do is the uh prosthetic vagina that's That's yeah i didn't like that so and i have not seen that recently from her so i think she's gotten the message on that at least (laughs) yeah so so we do entrances it all happens People walk in, a lot of people walk in, and then RuPaul walks in. And uh, bef- before we do that, I do want to jump back to th- the opening. Right. And RuPaul in this pussycat wig. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'd like to know the group's thoughts on the blonde pussycat wig. So I did not notice it until episode two. Because <laughs> well, okay, I'll, if you're, I don't pay attention to the RuPaul messages. They're meaningless and filler, you know? It's, it's, it's right? Been, right? But, yeah. like, the second episode, I was like, Ru, you clocked Monet Exchange for those pussycat wigs <laughs> so many times. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, maybe Monet and her success with the pussycat wig has finally brought Ru to the other side of the argument, is all I'm saying. Well, she stole it from Raven and then had to give it back for the fucking uh, fashion show in episode one. But <laughs> right. Mm-mm. So yes, RuPaul in the pussycat wig. No choices. Opinion. Choices. Choices. Um. But yeah. So then RuPaul walks in, and it's all stars. But now there are two ways to win. Ooh. We'll get to that later. 
<laughs> yeah. Now since we're talking about it, but we can do probably later. No, I'm, I'm, she, she's I'm, quoting I'm RuPaul. Doing RuPaul. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> we wanna, I, let's just talk about it now. So we oh, find no, out later. Wait, stop. Because you just <laughs> the whole moment here. Like I was actually doing I got where you were going, Lana. Did. I got what she was doing. <laughs> yeah, I'd say I'm tired. To, no, she said, we got two ways to win. But we'll talk about we'll that talk later. later. That's what we did. <laughs> I know. Yeah. stepped on my joke and was like, no, we'll talk about it now. Logan thought you were gatekeeping the conversation. Right? I'm not gatekeeping. <laughs> talk about whatever we want to talk about. You know what? I'm a guest in this house. Go do what you do, boo. You run it. No, you run no it. you're not. I'm, I'm, anyway. I'm a bro, I'm talking. My my brain is gone, quite frankly. It's it's not here. So we're gonna talk about it now. Long, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> we find out later in the episode that, and we all kind of knew. I knew about it. Um, but the queens are also competing this season in the Fame Games, which is the second way to win. We find out that the eliminated queens will be presenting all of their runway looks for the season. Um, and the fans are going to vote for the queen that they think has the best runway package. And they are going to be declared uh, queen of the fame games and win 50,000 dual hairs. Dual hairs. Mm-hmm. Now we just have to trust that the fans vote fair and they don't. Oh, it's going to be fan favorite. Yeah. It's going to be favorite. No, nope, it's going to be fan favorite vote. Mm-hmm. I already know that. I personally will mm-hmm. be voting fair. I'm just saying that Same. now. I want to vote for the person that I think has the best package, mm-hmm. um, even if it's someone I don't necessarily like. And I do like all of Agreed. these girls to an extent. So I don't think that's really going to be an issue. Um, but personally, I'm going to be voting fairly. However, the fandom will not be voting fairly and it will be a fan favorite vote so i am so excited for this award to go to like heidi and closet or like uh who else is it lala re or someone else the fans just like really really like that yeah. to the end and i i mean i hope they make it to the end <laughs> but, I mean, both of them same but like based off of history with all stars you know and all the fan favorites can't make it to the end so i'm it's going to be somebody like that. I Personally, yeah. based off of these first two weeks, I thought Monica's runway for this second week was really good. Oh, I we was... will discuss it at length. Oh, I'm sorry. It's great. <laughs> yeah, it's so and good. I'm <laughs> assuming Lana has not seen it, so I'm excited for her to right. see it. It was on the episode. I have seen it. Wait. No, for episode two. Yeah. I know. I saw her look. Yeah, it was on it. I saw it. I thought it was just an no, untucked. No, no, no. It's just an untucked. No, no but they put they Monica's look it. on episode uh, two. They yeah, they did. Like, they did. They did. Yeah, oh, yeah. A preview for untucked. Yeah, they uh, did. I must have missed it. Her full runway walk is an untucked. That's what David mm-hmm. and I are yes. thinking of. But, okay. Yes, but I saw her look. Yes. Okay. So, back also, to... Also, I wish they did this in season 15 because... Irene, Irene would have won. Irene would have won. Irene would have won. Like, yeah. She, she would have won. Our it wouldn't team. have been close. Yeah, she would have won. Yeah. So, RuPaul's in the workroom. We find out that the mini challenge is a fashion show, not the reading challenge. I was surprised about this. I was, I was gagged. Mm-hmm. I like it like this because when the girls come in and immediately read each other, it just makes it seem like they already know who's going to be there, oh, which has God. been the case for previous seasons. Well, they so, you know, about 15 to 20 people that could mm-hmm. be there. So, yeah. So, I like that they're holding it off. Me too. It makes it feel more authentic. Yeah. Do we think that maybe they didn't do the reading challenge early just because Jimbo's on the cast and they were worried that some people may not have seen her seasons? Because oh. that, that was the only reason I thought that maybe they oh, could have it possibly the they still did it with Vivian. The Vivian well, yeah, but also she's a winner. Like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like th- there's a gap there, and but that's what they did for UK and Canada versus the world. Well, there's a gap on the season. Heidi is here. Oh. Gap- <laughs> she made it known that she has that motherfucking gap. Gapping. What's I was My- just. Oh, oh, sorry. I was going to say my roommate pointed out that anytime they do this in the first episode on a regular Drag Race season, they end up uh, 
giving the win overall for the season to a fashion queen. So he's like, oh, are they going to give a fashion queen the win for this all-star season? So Candy Muse will not be winning. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> right. She's giving fashion so hey, far. Mrs. Have- Kasha Davis will not be winning this season. Definitely uh, not. And her runway fashion has inspired an entire YouTube channel. Okay. Give the queen wait, the props. Wait, really? Katie, Candy Daly and Judy. What are you talking about? Oh, no. I thought you were oh, talking yeah. about Kasha. <laughs> right. I said Candy. Did, did, did I say Kasha? If I did, you said her. I thought you said her. I can't hear what you're saying. What was that? Um, half the time, like your audio is going in and out. Okay, hold on. Let me let me get off my phone. You're yeah. fine. You're fine. Anyway, fashion show. It's famous then, and famous now. And we are going to talk about it. So I thought that was a good thing. Actually, I was like, oh, that's I like yeah. It. It's and I liked how the runway was famous forever too. There that we was go. How it tied into each other. Oh. Okay. Well, Burke's gone. No, I'm kidding. Um. So we're gonna talk about both. Welcome back. We've made the some repulsor. decisions. Brooke, sashay away. I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> wouldn't be the first time. Well, <laughs> we're going to talk about both looks together because they both fit on a slide together. So that's how I did it. <laughs> so yes, categories are famous then and famous now. I agree with you, Lana. I, I thought this was real cute to start. Because it's usually like spring and summer. I'm like, no. Yeah, they... No, yeah, this was pretty cool. This is a cute thing. When I was excited, yeah. I heard, like, oh, this is gonna be look, this is gonna give, <laughs> this is gonna give. Mm-hmm. I, I, I love this runway. Yeah, like, like, this, yeah. These yeah. By the way, I want to yeah. warn people that um, we're not that have not seen Espania coverage. I am uh, definitely not as generous with my scores as oh, most of it. you are. So um, we love it. But I've also learned I'm not as. Uh, low on scores as some people are too. I'm kind of more in the middle on everything, so I'm evil. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, I feel like Lana and I are definitely Simon Cowell in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> we just we just roll with it. I, I that mean, so, Brand, so Brandon and I then are what Paula Abdul? Yeah, yeah I'm too Paula. nice with things. So, me too. Does that make me Randy Jackson, yes. Yes, Look, exactly. You're the Randy I, Jackson. I, I guess you feel me, dog. Uh, yeah, dog. <laughs> yeah, dog. I do think we and Mr. Talented <laughs> be on our Simon Cowell era, like hardcore when we don't like stuff. So, yeah. uh, I, again, I apologize now if you don't agree with my opinion, but I honestly don't care. It is what it is. So, let's get this started. Let's yeah. get this roast to cooking. Mm-hmm. Icon, mother. Speaking of season nine, Alexis Michelle. <laughs> I wore your favorite color, girl. Um, I actually really like both of these looks. I love I, this. I adore mm. these looks. <laughs> it's the Norma Desmond for me. It's the Norma Desmond for yes. me! And what, what else were we supposed to expect from Alexis Michelle? Broadway! <laughs> right. No, I thought, I actually think, I think the look is really, really good. Um, I wish there was a little bit of something to break up all of the white fabric happening. I think that would really be my only critique of it is just like when she was walking and even in this photo, if her hands were not on her hips, she would have no shape. And she has a great shape. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I just, I, if like when she was walking, I just wish there was like a belt or something to break up all the white fabric in that look. And then the Kim Kardashian Met Gala look is just so smart to do. Because mm-hmm. um, she probably knew that these were going to be paired together for something. So just c- straight up covering your face. That's smart. And I really commend her for that choice of just like, she can have the exact same face on. She doesn't have to do anything to her makeup. Just put the face on. That sounds shady. You said it was smart for her to cover up her face. Yes, I sure did. Wow. Um, <laughs> so, so quick question. I cannot tell in the screenshot, and I don't remember from the runway. Is she wearing a necklace? In the Norma Desmond? Yes, in the Norma Desmond. I don't uh, believe so. No, I, I don't believe so. so. Okay. No, that was think. something I was thinking of because in my maybe this is Mandela mm-hmm. effect, but in my memory, in my memory of the Norma Desmond, look, she, there's always like a necklace involved. 
Um, it didn't have to be like one to one. I get like it's an interpretation thing. It it's not like a big pick, nitpick, but it would have helped to break break up the like straight white of it all. Yeah, um, mm-hmm. yeah. Like pearls would have like not even pearls, like uh, like a nice like a sequence moment here could have been nice, you know. Mm-hmm. But I do. Yeah. I, I agree. I think jury would have broken up and just glamorized it even just a little bit more. Even I feel like this look is screaming for a like very bold neck piece a very you know chunky or like some a statement piece mm-hmm. her necklace her necklace should have been her statement piece because it looks the gap the, the outfit itself is beautiful the jacket is beautiful but it is so white and you need a, something to look at and something to draw you to not just be like all oh, this white where do i look where else mm-hmm. do i look Mm-hmm. But she looks beautiful. The fa- her, mm-hmm. her face is great. But she I looks like, but she is beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Kennedy Davenport icon. Um yeah. but, but the 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 black number, the Kim Kardashian Met Gala look, like mm-hmm. <laughs> that's the better look. That's the better look. Yeah. Like that was that was bold. It was to come out first of all, you can't you can't she couldn't see nothing. She's like, I am gonna fall out this runway, but I don't know where I'm going. But she looked amazing and that was like very now, which is what the theme called for. So I applaud that. I applaud you know, that. something interesting to me, this th- we've now I know granted there was no like Met Gala theme here, but also when you think of modern fashion, typically the first thought in the US is Met Gala. Yes. Um but the promo was old Hollywood Met Gala. The runway theme in runway two was Met Gala. Met mm. Gala. Oh, pardon, <laughs> yeah. pardon me. Pardon me. Uh and then this is you know Pseudo Met Gala, you know, you're kind of wild, there. honestly. Yeah, we've gotten a lot yeah. of that. maybe it's because they uh, invited a few drag queens the past couple of years, mm-hmm. uh, but perhaps, yeah. Um, I love this first white look. I do agree with you, Brooke and Lana, with the jewelry, it could have been you know a nice little statement piece. The Kim Kardashian look, I do like, I just wish the ponytail was fuller, like it looked a little bit empty i wish it was fuller and it did look a little bit brown when she walked back you know i feel like she could have just dyed it like completely black because you know having the black and then the brown it kind of looks weird so yeah but other than that she ate this up she ate yeah the hair could have been a lighting thing because my hair Mm -hmm. although it's black it can like shine brown in the sun so that Mine is the exact opposite. My hair is brown, but it, like sometimes it looks black. So mm. yeah, oh, love that. Okay. But yeah, me, yeah, same. Echoing everyone's and like love this. Yeah, I do agree. Yeah. Wish like not everyone. <laughs> not everyone. Not <laughs> everyone. I wish there could be a necklace, and I love the um, Kim Kardashian look. Yeah. Of course. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna give the Norman Desmond a 90, and the Kim Kardashian is gonna be a full. Uh, Norma Desmond, 85, um, Kim Kardashian, full. Um, yeah, I would say 80 for the Norma Desmond. I would say 90 for the Kim Kardashian. Okay, I don't know Norma Desmond. I, I'm not, I'm kind of underwhelmed with this look. I I'm, really, okay, David I'm, Healy, I'm so sorry to interrupt you. You are the movie buff of this group. Wait, and what you movie don't know Norma Desmond? Name she's a movie. A character. She's, she's a character. Oh, she's what not even character? an actress. Who is it? What movie? You don't need to know. That's different. It's, you don't know. You don't know. You can't tell me. <laughs> Sunset I Boulevard. Sunset? Sunset? Okay. Boulevard. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, I love that movie. I watched it for the first time a couple years ago. Um, Clearly, you hmm. don't love it, but go ahead. Well, I didn't know her name. <laughs> But this look is a little underwhelming for me, so I'm gonna give it a 46. And uh, the that's what I'm talking about, y'all. <laughs> the Kim Kardashian one I like a, a lot better. I'll give that a 67. Oh, I'm in the yeah. mood. I'm in the mood. <laughs> yeah, Lana, I think we have to pass the torch to him because he's giving <laughs> him more time call than us. Yeah, y'all do. Her, yeah, her Norma Desmond, I'm gonna give a 90. Her Kim Kardashian, I'm gonna give a 95. And as a friendly reminder, before I write, I am not the American education system. So uh, the uh, Norma Desmond look will be getting a 50 because it is a perfectly average garment. Uh, and then 
Kim Kardashian is better than average, so it's going to be getting a 75. I See, would like to Brooke and I are scoring the same way. 50 is average for me. Literally, Brandon and I are scoring the same. Lana and Mr. Talented are scoring the same. Brooke and David are scoring the same. <laughs> <laughs> I see a trend. I see a trend. I would like to see y'all do what she just did on that runway period. Oh, oh by the way, I would Darren not have Lake. known. I would oh. not have known that was um, Alexis if you just showed me that second look, and without no one context. would. Her no face was way. covered. Well, <laughs> I mean, even so, like the, the body did not yeah. give me. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Lord. I don't. I don't think that was the point. I don't think you're supposed to give yourself. I think you're supposed to like give someone else. Oh no, so, I didn't mean I, that as a bad thing. I was just saying I was surprised. Mm -hmm. Oh, Darian Lay. I'm sorry, Miss Darian. Miss Darian, I just want to say to Miss Darian real quick. I'm so happy you're here. You know, I, I may be the president of the James Mansfield fan club, but I am the vice president of the Darian Lake fan club. So, I'm also very happy she's here, Mama. What is this? Which what one is this? Both. Both. No, Both. 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 no, absolutely, no, absolutely. No, hold the fuck on, okay? <laughs> one thing I want to point out, okay? She got red for wearing a t-shirt on the one on the runway, but literally she did the fucking assignment borderline perfectly. This is what Billie Eilish wears. She's doing a Billie Eilish look. That it doesn't definitely... mean it looks good. I think it was True. great on her. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Nah, both of them. Both, honestly. Those are Lane Bryant slacks, and you cannot tell me otherwise. <laughs> I don't want to see any goddamn <laughs> Lane, Lane Bryant in Rochester, New York, and said, baby, I need some slacks for this Billie Eilish look. Not Lane Bryant. <laughs> Lane Bryant, baby. <laughs> Unless your name is Stacy, no Lane Bryant. Right. In nah. Mother, in Matthews. But okay, the first look, I can't. I, it, it, it's the same problem I've had with Jimbo, not Jimbo, uh, Rita Baga. I had on Canada versus the World, which is the uh, lack of a point of focus. Uh, it, it does make it difficult to look at. I love you, Darian. Love you down. But the, cho the, the choices were made. Um, but I love the Billy Eilish <laughs> look. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> I'm surprised RuPaul didn't tell her I don't want to see any H&M for the Billie Eilish look. I'm surprised, honestly. Well, it's not H&M, baby. It's Lane Bryant. <laughs> <laughs> I think they like to be a little nicer on the <laughs> All-Stars season. So. Mm. Well, well, also, they were looking for an excuse to get rid of Joe Black. Like, full stop. Nice. But, okay. <laughs> um, This first look is just given like a princess look, but like it's not done correctly. She's like, I, I can giving like Ren fair was what the idea was. <laughs> Renaissance fair. Yeah. Yeah. When I look at it, I see like a princess, you know, a Disney princess. Right. Same. So okay. yeah. And then the Billie Eilish look, honestly, it's, it's not, it's not horrible, you know, but she kind of looks like she could be Billie Eilish's grandmother instead of Billie Eilish. Grandmother bitch. <laughs> Grandmother bitch. Grandmother bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, I agree with the judges. You know, she could have dragged it up a little bit, you know, spice it up a little bit, you know, because it's just, it looked like you could have went to any store and, you know, pick something like that out. Perhaps like so, yeah. Brian. <laughs> right. Like <perhaps>. Brian. <laughs> That's the one. But yeah, it's just a little bit underwhelming. You know, but yeah, yeah. So, in the city I live in, there was a girl who um, used to dress up as princesses, and um, she ended up having her mother killed. Um, but you all <laughs> may have heard of her. Her name's Gypsy Rose Bl Blanchard. Oh, yes, she's I from my her. city, but. I'm getting a little bit of her in that first look because that's kind of the costume she dressed up as and same wig too. I don't know. Wait, I'm not very... that story you just told us. <laughs> oh, um, watch <laughs> no, the I'm, fully, on Hulu. I'm going into that story you're telling and I'm like, oh, he's talking about like a local girl. Cool. Yeah. Well, she no, is a local it. girl. She <laughs> seen Rose Blanchard. No, okay. I'm, like a drag I'm not sure girl. who all knows no, her. No, she is a local girl. <laughs> 
She is a local girl. She's in the local prison. David, we're going to be going to go along very well, I can tell. Oh, God. Well, I'm like... I, I hope so, but you might not like my scores for hey, Darian. Hey, I do not judge other people's scores. Perfect. I just take I my do. own, and I know my opinion. Exactly. You know? As long as you're comfortable in yours and I'm comfortable mm. in mine, we'll get along. Exactly. So this first look is a 32 for me. We're not scoring yet, David. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> new to this. Please don't judge me. So no, you've just done kidding. like three episodes now. You ain't new to this. Yeah. Scores. Um. Yeah, the lighter has not spoken. I haven't one. spoken yet. He has Brandon. Second God. one kind of looks like a Halloween costume. Mm -hmm. It does. I. 100% agree with David because the first thing I saw when she walked out in that first outfit was a gypsy. I was like, she is a a gypsy I won't even say gypsy queen because it's not even a queenly. It's just a gypsy person. Somebody who is trying to do a fortune teller at a carnival type look. You know, I, it's, it's <laughs> This is horrible. Like, this is bad. Like, everything about this look is awful, from the hair <laughs> to the paint to the... Mm -hmm. Like, Brooke said, too much to look at. Like, where do I focus? It's like, you got the corset that's with the jewels and then the different purple top and the... What is that at the bottom? What kind of pattern is... It's just bad almost that like camo. Look, i'm just not and then billy eilish oh oh girl i mean i get it but i don't get it i mean i don't i don't i get it but i don't like it because she really looks <laughs> like billy eilish's grandma and it's just not giving this is all stars baby i expect so much more from an all-star season of anything, anything that you do and you're coming back and you're saying, I'm an all-star, it means you've done this before. You know what is expected of you. You got to come with your A-game every time or why did you come back? Like, what are you here for wasting time if you're going to give us mediocrity on the runway? And I don't care if it's a mini challenge or a maxi challenge, you are an all-star baby this is not where you come in and start like not giving your a hundred percent best i just I, it, this is awful don't like it at all don't like it at all brandon you go no i agree <laughs> like i was wondering like yeah although i love billy eilish down i just couldn't get behind this if i'll be honest <laughs> like Look, yes, like that that's what Billy Eilish is known for. Not much like just regular like streetwear, honestly. And then the other runway. I had no idea what was happening here. Like when I heard Run Fair, I was just like, I still don't see it. Like and like like Lana said, like um psychic at a carnival. Like I that's what I thought too. Now, granted, now for me, so if for the for the famous now, it could have been like a more red carpet Billie Eilish look that I could have gone, that she could have gone for if she wanted to. And then, of course, just, this was just recently. Did everyone see Billie Eilish's um, Met Gala look? I sure did. Yeah, mm. that that to me, like if if she like took that approach in a way, but because this hey. is Billie Eilish concert wear, this is not yeah. Billie mm -hmm. Eilish runway in or, or red carpet anything. In her defense, I think she was just going for a surprise factor with this. Yeah. And yeah. Like, that's the last thing you would expect her to come out as. Which I appreciate. But still make it fast. Execute it properly. Mm -hmm. right. Now, scores. Great. <laughs> um, so this Ren Fair disaster is going to get. <laughs> It's going to be like a 40 because I like the color. Um, <laughs> You're not bleeding. No, I can't because there's other looks that will be pled. Um, that part. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, it's a 40. It's a 40 for the Run Fair disaster. And it's going to be a 35 for the Billie Eilish because that's probably as about as much as she paid for those Lane Bryant slacks. Mm hmm. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, um, 35 for the run fair, and then honestly, 50 for the Billie Eilish because, like, it's 
not bad to me. Not bad to me, but I still don't like it. I am pleading to put more of it on that Renware outfit. I don't like anything about it. I will never judge that. And the Billy Eilish gets a two because I like it just <laughs> a little bit better. That's awful. Get out of here. Yes. It's not here for That's it. my wife. <laughs> okay, I changed my. I know I spoiled my score earlier, but I decided to change it based on what I gave Alexis. So I think that first look is closer to a twenty-eight, and I'll give her Billy Eilish look. I'll give it a twenty-three. Um, I'm gonna give her um a twenty. And I'm gonna give her two twenties. Actually, no, a twenty and a fifteen. That's yeah. That's that's how I like it. Yeah. Um. Okay. So on the Rin Fair look, uh, I'm gonna be giving it a thirty. Um. And on the Billy Eilish look, I just want to. Not my statement. This is a statement I saw on Twitter. If this was a young skinny fashion queen, y'all would be eating this the fuck up. This Absolutely is a fucking no. <laughs> I would not have. No. I would not Absolutely have. Not. No, it could be a have. skinny queen. It could be a young queen. It could be mm-hmm. an old queen. It could be a fat queen. I would hate it on everybody. Yeah. That's awful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It, just this, a t-shirt it, it, it and slacks. Scream all star. That screams. This is my first runway as a drag queen. That's what it's this looking is, like. This is not all star material. This is what the season two and season one girls would have won, definitely. <sighs> I was sad. But yeah, Brooke, you don't that. really believe that, though, do you? Oh, I do. Okay. Absolutely not. I think the average drag race fan on Twitter who is talking about how Darian Lake is this like awful whatever because of this one runway and doesn't know anything about her like the new age fans that did not watch season six and have no point of reference i think they would be eating this up if this was on a young skinny fashion queen for sure absolutely <laughs> however we are not those people <laughs> oh i'm not talking about y'all right the y'all was not aimed at you that was a quote i okay saw on Twitter. those lane brian slacks are not going to look good on anybody except for maybe <laughs> my mother because I'm pretty sure she has those. Okay. I'm uh, okay. Hold, hold we gotta on. move on. Okay. Well, hold on. Oh. We are not gonna do too much more on Lane Bryant. I didn't let you slide <laughs> all this time. <laughs> oh no, I love the Lane Bryant. How about because no, what we not gonna do is keep crapping on Lane Bryant because it's not the main stage. No, no, no. Lana, <laughs> let me make it very clear. I buy a lot of my pants from Lane Bryant. Per. Okay. Just not on the main stage of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars, exactly. eh? Okay, okay. I, I'm with you on that, but I was just saying, I had to put yes, it ma'am. out there. I had to just put it out there like, No, Lane yes, Bryan, ma'am. Don't you worry about Lane that. Lane Bryant ain't do nothing to us. <laughs> Lane Bryant, Bryan, if you would like to sponsor the podcast, I would live. <laughs> I don't uh, think they would after you talking about no, the Absolutely not, but absolutely. I would live. But right, I would, next. Lane Bryant, I Lane love you. Bryan. I'm having a shopper of Lane Bryant. Thank you very much. Yo, we have two episodes to go through. Heidi and okay. Closet. Okay. Let's talk. You're the one that tried to cut off two people earlier, Brooke. Anyway, Heidi and Closet. <laughs> I don't mind these looks. I like the second look, but then I like the first look. Mm-hmm. But I don't hate the looks. But I'm not like, gagged over all the looks either if that makes sense i agree um i do like the two looks i feel like the first look the only thing i dislike is the makeup yes i just feel like it's in a weird position did you say you you hate 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 her hair and makeup (laughs) 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 yes i not her hair (laughs) yeah and the second look is giving me very you know african you know princess you know, I like it. I like that. Yeah, I think it's clear that she's stepping up her game as far as fashion goes this season. So I'm excited about it because uh, honestly, there wasn't much that Heidi was lacking in her first season other than maybe some of the runway looks and some of her makeup skills. So I'm hoping that she's going to be able to nail it this season and just slide her way on down to the finale. Straight These are both very good looks. Slide her way straight through that gap. Yes. Um, I like them both. I don't like love, love either of them. 
there's only like one or two of these looks that I'm like head over heels for in this entire runway, but I really liked it as a whole. Um, but I really think both of these looks are really solid. I love the first one. I really love the first one. Um, second one is good. Um, I feel like there's a little too much going on in my opinion, but that's just me. Um, but still really solid in my opinion, because like the first one's just giving, it's just giving camp to me. The first one, when you look at the makeup, I was, I was underwhelmed by it. I wish there, cause she's going for porcelain doll. Mm -hmm. And I wish there was a bit more of that in the makeup. I know she had very limited time to do it. So I am going to give her the, the props and the flowers that she deserves for doing, for changing her makeup that much in such a short period of time. What I will say is I just wish there was a little bit more of it. Um, the second look, I genuinely forgot it. <laughs> Me like too. Sam, Sam. Who is that supposed to be? What? Who is it supposed to be emulating? I know, David. Hmm. She said it was like Chloe and Halle Bailey. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah. It's, it's definitely giving or... African princess. That yeah. Yeah it, yeah, it is giving African That's princess, giving definitely. African princess. I, I think it's a good look. I just didn't remember it personally. There were there were a lot of looks in this episode, so like that's that's probably what it was. But I do think it is a good look overall. Mm -hmm. And I will say, the second look, I love the shoes. <laughs> the shoes. I love the shoes. legs too. The legs. The legs. The legs. The legs. Oh, love it. Okay. Yeah. Do we all? Do we all go? Mm -hmm, we did. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to give the uh, porcelain doll, she's going to get an 85. Uh, you know what? Two 85s for Heidi. Um, 90 for the porcelain, and then 80 for the um, African princess. I think it's opposite for me. I think it's more like a 80 for the porcelain doll look and 90 for the African queen look. <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna reverse it again and I'll Not give the, the reverse. I'll give the first one a 75 and the second one a 72. Yeah, I'm gonna give her first look on um, an 85. I'm gonna give the second look a 90. See Una reverse. <laughs> um I will be giving the first look a 75. And the second look will be getting a 70. Wow. I'm going to reverse again. Jeez. Look at all of us being kind of Miss Closet. That's funny. This is I mean, it's funny that we each had like a different opinion on which was better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, that just shows you the overall strength of the, out of the mm -hmm. two part collection, if you will. And it shows the strength of our panel. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> James Mansfield. My bitch. <laughs> Mother, yes, mm -hmm. I, I finish. No, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, I love both of these looks like a lot. Like, I actually really I don't love either of them, like head over heels, full cup, overflowing, any mat, any of that. But I think it just, especially the second look, I think it really just like shows off her brand really well to me. Um, but I don't know, that's just me. <laughs> um I really like the first one. I do get Mexican, very Mexican um, heritage culture. I love when she had on the little jacket thing and then she took it off. The second look, I do agree, it does go with her brand because her and Jojo Siwa have this very, you know, peppy, you know, energy when they put on, you know, their looks and stuff. However, I wouldn't have looked at this and seen Jojo. I feel like she could have did this second look better. Like, I feel like it could have been more color. You know, Jojo wears the color, you know, the sparkle, you know, the rhinestones, all of that. I feel like she could have done this better. I feel like this could be any drag queen costume, honestly. The only thing that sets it apart is the is the bow and the little ponytail. But, the, yeah. The peplum skirt is very party city for me. And I'm just like, oof. You, you, you're doing Jojo Siwa. You got to do Jojo Siwa. You got to go all the way out and do Jojo Siwa. Give me all mm -hmm. the colors. Give me all the, you know, just sparkles, glitter. Give, give me all of that. This The the purple le one bodysuit, it just looks like it's ashy. Like, it's just fading. It's like a faded purple. It's very muted. That, it's very muted. And it's like, 
you're doing JoJo. You got to give me bold colors, pops of color. You know, it just wasn't doing it. I do like her first look a little bit better than I like the second look, but not that much because I'm not feeling this look that much either because I get the Mexican heritage. Great. I just, I think I liked it better with the jacket on than I do with it off. I think that's what it is. Maybe that's what it is. I liked it with it on. I'm not feeling it with it off. But she looks, her makeup is always great. Like, I like the hair in both looks. I love the hair in both looks. I just don't know if I feel it like she gave everything that I wanted to give in both looks. I'm curious because, like, because for me, if I'm going to do Jojo Siwa, I'm going to wear Jojo Siwa licensed things. And I'm wondering right. whether they weren't allowed, whether James wasn't allowed to do it. Probably not. I'm going to, I'm going to assume, even though, we'll talk about it, it. Jojo Siwa is literally the guest judge on episode three. Like, yeah. So like, oh, yeah. You would I, think that if it was a licensing mm, issue, Jojo would sign off so. on it, no problem. So that's why the second look just confused me because I do agree with you, Lana. I would not have looked at that and said Jojo Siba. I would have I would have looked at that and said, oh, that's a really cute look for the bar. This is your second number look. Like you got to change into this real quick. It's just a bodysuit. You pull over the skirt and you pull over the harness and that's that. But like, I don't know. I think she looks good in both. Um, the first look is the one that I prefer personally. Um, I agree also, Lana, shocker, agreeing with Lana. Um, I liked it with the jacket on a lot more than I did it off, but I do still think she looks really good. Um, that wig in the first look is actually a wig that she styled on her YouTube channel years ago. <laughs> and yeah, I clocked wow. and I was like, wait, hold on, I know that wig. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> so, mm -hmm. but yeah, no, I don't think this is a bad showing to start right off for James in the slightest. And I loved her entrance look too. So I thought these first three looks that she's showing on all stars proves honestly why she's here. I agree. So. Yeah. I, well, first let me say, I, I did have this conversation with Logan off air last week. Uh, my exposure to James is what I've seen on drag race. And so I am one of those people that's like, why is James back? James didn't really bring anything that impressive in her two episodes. Um, I do think this first look here is better than anything I saw from her in her first season. Um, it, it, uh, I like her face. It looks different there, uh, than what we usually see her paint, um, as the second look, I definitely am not a fan of for some reason it's giving me like an elevated version of juice boxes, uh, look, that she made in that first episode. I know it's crazy, especially considering juice box had a lot of skin showing, but um, yeah, I will say I'm still waiting to be completely won over by James. I hope it happens. I will agree based on her performance in episode one, but we'll, we'll talk about that. Eventually. Yeah. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it because. <sighs> mm -hmm. Are we good for scores? No, I'm seven said anything yet. <laughs> no, oh, go ahead, Brian. Oh, that's why I asked. <laughs> that's fine, but I just echo what most people said. Love the first look. Prefer the jacket a lot more without. And then, yeah, I do not. Um, of course, now I see JoJo Siwa, but at the same time, it's still I still don't see JoJo in a way. That's just me, but. So now, okay. First look for me is going to be an 80. The second look for the category and what she said she was giving is going to be a 70. Yeah, first look, 85. Um, second look, 70. First look, 75. Second look, 70. Okay. Um, I'm giving... Oh gosh. I'm giving the first look... I'm so sorry. I'm giving it a 51. I think it's a little bit above average. Um... The second look, like I said, I'm not really a fan of it, so I'm going to give it a 25. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the first look, I'm going to give it 85. The second look, I'm going to give it 65. Um, the first look, because I want to say I about the jacket, so now I'm thinking about the jacket. Uh, first look, I'm going to give a 75 to. 
And then the second look, uh, I, I respect your comments. So I have, my opinion has slightly changed. I still like it though. Uh, <laughs> I will be giving a 65. Although I will admit, I'm just happy that she didn't pull like the UK thing of forgetting the purse for the queen, that she at least did the bow. Because if you don't mm-hmm. do the bow, Jojo, it's like an immediate L. Oh, and yes. the bow is very prominent. <laughs> so at least there's that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Jessica Wild. Perfection. Love. Is it? The first oh, one. The first one. First one. Sure, <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. this, that second look, yo. I don't Who's know. The it's not bad. Y'all bad don't like bunny. the second one? I mean, it's just bad bunny. It's very Hollywood and Vine. I don't know if it's Hollywood. I don't know. I Hollywood I Hollywood I mean, it's I Hollywood giving, It's giving me Hollywood and Vine instead of glamour or uh, you know, famous now. It's giving me pretty woman, not before the makeover. You know, it's just just not feeling. Yeah. It's not the, the first look. She looks amazing. Great. <laughs> Second look. Yeah, there's not too much to say about that first look to critique it. My only thing is I just wish things were just slightly bigger, just to exaggerate it a bit more. Uh, but other than that, it looks it looks really good. Um, the second look, I appreciate that she went for a male and tried to kind of give us a female version of it. Um, but yeah, it's not that impressive. It's fine. I gagged at the first look. I was just like, <laughs> oh my god, yes. And then second look, I was just like, oh, bad bunny, but it's okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I like I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Ahead. Um I like the first look. It's cute. The second look, I don't hate it as much as you guys do. I don't mind it actually. I'm I don't love it, love it, you know. Hello. <laughs> LOL. Um I don't mind it. But I don't hate it, so yeah. I mean, if you would have told me it was Bad Bunny, I wouldn't have known it was Bad Bunny. I just, it's Same. Just, you know, that's the thing. It's not coming off as I'm doing Bad Bunny. It's just, mm-hmm. it's, just it's it's not. Nah. Okay. Yes, I wrote in our chat. It's well, I, it's not Bad Bunny. It's Mad Bunny. Mad <laughs> Bunny. Well, Mad. Meh. Uh, thanks, Bad Bunny. If you would like to hear more about Bad Bunny, please make sure to tune into our recap of WWE Backlash 2023 held in Puerto Rico. Sorry, Bad Bunny. Um, so no yeah. Work. yeah, but keep the brand synergy going, you know. Um, <laughs> but uh, regardless, this first look, honestly, if I'm going to be real, is probably my favorite runway look we got out of either of any of this entire. Category, both categories personally if i remember correctly i might be forgetting something great um i don't know i don't love the second one i think it's totally fine it doesn't have anything like glaringly wrong with it it's just there to me mm-hmm. yeah yeah brandon want to go say something brandon are- uh. I already spoke, so yeah. First look, love. Second look, me. Man. Really <laughs> and I'm gonna reflect that in my scores. Uh, the first look is gonna be a 95 for me. The second one, again, it's very similar to James for me for what she said she was giving because I think the look itself is fine, but for what she said she was giving, I'm gonna give Jessica a 70 for the second look. Yeah. Um, I'm giving the first look a full, and then second look, 70. The first look is definitely flowing over. Like, I love it. She <laughs> looks amazing. The second look, eh, 50. Average. Yeah, I'm going to give the first look an 87. There's there's things that just could have made it like pop a little bit more, but it still looks great. Um, the second look, I'll give it a 55. Mm-hmm. The first look, I'm going to give a 90. The second look, I'm going to give a 75. Um, And I will be copy-pasting Lana's scores because this first one is 
glowing, and the second one is a fifty. So <laughs> there you go. Lauder, Lord, the uh, hunting alone. <sighs> Jimbo. This first look. Sickening. Eight. Sickening. Sickening. Out. I was like, so wait a minute. Yes, sir. Like the we've seen she turned the corner, I was like, "Oh my, okay." It's so smart. Like, I get it. Like everything about this look was perfection because it does scream Maryland. It does scream old Hollywood. It does give us that classic uh, picture that we're so used to seeing in Marilyn Monroe. It's it's done perfectly. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Agreed. The second look, I love that she thought outside of the box. Um, I feel like she could have did something better than this. Like, she really did think outside the box. But it could have been something better. It could have been something a little bit more, you know, like graphic cartoon. And then she had, you know, the like sticking out in like a bubble or something. You know, something else. You know, this just feels... Like, honestly, take out the like and the me and the subscribe thing. It could be for a whole nother runway category. Mm -hmm. You know? It's not unique for the category. I mean, but the highlight is the wig, though. Yeah, yeah the, wig. the wig. The, the thumbs up wig. The wig. Yeah, I the wig is cute. I would not have thought of that. Yeah, that yeah the wig is cute. For me, honestly. I, mm -hmm. I think I thought the dress was going to light up. Because the way it's looking, oh, same, I, same. I thought the dress was that would have been good too. Light, if the dress would have lit up or something like that, I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, okay, yes, work, Diva. But I feel like yeah. it's under, a little underwhelming when you had that first look. The second look was just, it's, it's, it's good. It's not bad. It's just, it, like I said, if you took off the like me and the subscribe thing, it could have been anything. It could have been any other dress on the runway. But it could have been her net runway, quite frankly. But she honestly. Uh, mm -hmm. I agree with Mr. Talented. I on I like get rid of the words. I would have loved like mm -hmm. a like symbol, a like subscribe button. Like that would have given mm -hmm. it to me a little yeah. bit more. And there was someone else that did something similar, which we'll mm -hmm. talk about shortly, that I didn't love either. Mm -hmm. But um no, that first look. Ugh. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we've seen so many Marylands too. That's the thing. And like I think yeah. she has the best. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has to. Like, how do you travel with that? It's, like, it's you, collapsible. Collapsible, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Even oh, I, don't know, I don't know how it's done, <laughs> but I'm going to assume there's some sort of mechanism inside that locks. Similar to, you know how you know how you have those, like, you, know, you do, like, a tent, like, with those pop-up tents and stuff, and they have... Yeah, the pop-up mm -hmm. tents. I think it's... Mm -hmm. the, you, you just collapse the... Uh, yeah, it probably. probably is a pop-up tent, let's be honest. Honestly. It be. Right? <laughs> it could be the internal structure, honestly, and I would... I, that would be great. I would but, love that, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, that photo yeah. even looks like it's actually moving. <laughs> yeah. Like if you would, if you just sh showed me this without me knowing, I would have said, "Oh wow, she's got something blowing it up." But mm -hmm. no, uh, the second look, in, she actually kind of looks like a birdie. Do you all like the little? They hear, yeah, they hear, it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, I just generally do not like um, text on um, clothes. 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 I mean, yeah. occasionally yeah. it can work. I don't think it quite works here, but I do not hate it. All right. I will say I really do like the Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe look. I think it is borderline cosplay, and I don't mean that in a negative way. I just mean, like, it's kind of perfect. Like, there's not, like, any... Mm -hmm. it, it's on the nose, but in a good way, is all, is all I mean by that. Um, the second look, if you took off the like me text and the follow on the back of it, I was very much getting, as of recently, I've been getting Eurovision out of it. Like, I could see this being someone's Eurovision outfit. <laughs> um, this is kind of someone's Eurovision <laughs> outfit from like a, from like six or seven years ago, full T. I'm just saying. I, I, I'm getting my... In a different color? Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, it feels very much like someone, if they went to like... Uh, um, like a, de a death metal concert and this is just their outfit for the goth band that they like without the goth makeup on death well, metal to make it fashion yes exactly right? but it's fashion 
but is a fashion. Yes. Um, but no, I like both of them. I, I also agree with David, though. I don't really like text on looks, typically, unless it's something like, um, like uh, I can't remember. Was it Brooklyn Heights that had the reveal thing at the season 11? The reveal, reveal, yeah, the reveal coat. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Love that, because that was almost a pattern. But And honestly, I like Selena as Titty's <laughs> golden boot look. <laughs> <laughs> but but that that kind of thing. But just paste it. It feels like it's like a vinyl sticker that just mm-hmm. got put on the outfit. Yeah. Did we all give our thoughts? Mm-hmm. Great. Uh, the first look, uh, the Marilyn, my cup is overflowing. Period. Um, the second look, I'm going to give a 75 because I really like the wig. Yeah, Marilyn for me, overflowing. Um, the other one, um, 80. Yeah, overflowing for the Marilyn perfection. I would say 75 for the other second look. Um, I'm going to go with a 92 for the first one, uh, which is very high for me. That's um, high and- <laughs> for David. <laughs> it's very high for me, yes. Uh, the second one, I will... I'll give it a 63, largely due to the wig. Okay. Um, the first look, overflowing, of course. The second look, I'm going to give her a 60. Um, yeah. And then on the first look, I'm going to give it... Um, see, it's like some, <laughs> a 96. A 96. Uh, <laughs> It feels it feels a little safe. I wish there was like a little something extra with it that made it feel a little more drag and a little less cosplay. But I, it's still amazing. You um, want more than this dress literally being blown up by it, it, yeah. It's a lovely picture, Logan. Truly. Um, but you know, um, <laughs> regardless. Really? Uh, the second look, because I have recently fallen down the Eurovision rabbit hole, and that's the only thing I'm getting out of this. <laughs> Stop thinking about it looking like a Eurovision outfit from like Norway. Um, I'm gonna give it a uh, not not Lorraine. Uh, I'm gonna give it a not the same country, baby. Is she not? Oh, she's Sweden. She's no, Sweden. give your score. I'm, I'm working on it. Uh, she's uh, and uh, the 85. <laughs> Thank you, Kahana. I also want to say before we dive into it. I got to meet Kahana at DragCon in this Lil Nas X look, and baby, mm-hmm. when I tell you it was so good in person. It looked good on the, show. Good on the runway. Yes. It looked good on the runway. It looked it good. It sure did. I'm this is sure why Kahana's my number one. This is the this is why Kahana's my number one this season. But see, this is the thing. I love this Lil Nas X look. I like sort of like the first look. The first look is not giving as much as I wanted to give. It's cute. It's, it's beautiful. It's very safe. It's very safe. But that little Nas X look, baby, mm-hmm. like, you it's know, good. that is now, that is what I like. See, that's this is what I was meant with, like, the Kim Kardashian Met Gala look. It gives us a focus, and I can see what they were talking about it is what, the now yeah. in fashion and I can get the reference points and I, I feel like that's what the Jojo missed out that's where the uh, uh, the Billy Eilish they missed out on great fashion moments from these artists now if you're going to do them do a good fashion moment of fashion right. reference so it's like okay mm-hmm. now I see why you're Billie Eilish or I can see why you're JoJo see why I think they just gave safe looks for Billy and JoJo when she gave us Lil Nas X that was just a classic instant classic when he walked out on the runway on, on the red carpet with that outfit it was an instant classic and she perfected like how do you perfect perfection I don't know but she did it because that looks amazing and she looks amazing in it so yeah and I agree typical on us x outfit is it's not copy paste you know like there are differences that make it stand out more uh like i i just pulled up the picture for from the little Nas x picture for frame of reference like just to get a good comparison um and like he had this like i don't know the right word but it's like uh like a uh, mesh kind of like under like see-through uh thing underneath the like strap portion of the outfit it was just a mesh shirt mesh shirt yeah there's yeah. like some underneath it 
Uh, here, there's not. And I think that actually adds, elevates it a little bit more. It makes it more distinct and it makes it more drag. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I love this look. And then the first look, it's also stunning. She's gorgeous. Yeah, She's I, beautiful. I, <laughs> I remember liking the first look better when I watched it on the show than I am yeah. looking back at this picture right now. So maybe this just isn't doing it quite the justice that it had on the actual show. I um, did not take these photos. <laughs> Do not blame me. I already <laughs> am. No, uh, I'm um, my only issue with the little Nas X, and this I've noticed it a few times with her, her breastplate that she wears looks like it's yeah. as hard as a rock. Like it there's is. been so many good breastplates. I don't think hers is great. I mean, it's mm. it's great at matching her skin tone, which I've seen a lot that do not. Um, but really, that was my only thing that was kind of distracting. But otherwise, I think it's a great concept and very, mm -hmm. very good execution. For me, yeah, I, from, to, oh, no, go ahead, sorry, go ahead. I just want to speak on the breastplate for just a second, and I'll give it back to you. Um, I also want to say, like it, as we know things to be, especially for Black queens, it is very, very difficult a lot of the times to get undergarments and things that match skin tone. So I think I think it kind of is more of a circumstance of maybe this is the only one that she could find in her skin tone that like looked good or something like that. I just want to – I'm a little bit more lenient with things like that. Nice. I do understand your point. I'm just a little bit more lenient when it comes to things like that. But sorry, Mr. Pal, you go ahead, baby. No, I was just going to say, um, who was she referencing for the first look? Do any of you remember? I don't remember. No, I don't either. Just like a yeah, regular I, old Hollywood thing. I don't know. I think it was just yeah. old Hollywood. It probably was. Yeah, I agree with Lana. It is a safe choice, but she does look very beautiful. She looks stunning. The Lil Nas X look, from the moment she came out before even speaking, you could see it was Lil Nas X. Very drag. You know, um, Darian should have done something like this, you know? Take the oh, artist, the look. Like yeah, but like drag it up, you know. This this was great. Again, I said it before and I said it again. This is why Kahana is my number one right now. <laughs> like, I, I've been excited for Kahana like ever since she was rumored. Like that's how excited I was, and then seeing this now, like now I know why. Like I've like kept that since. She's most improved by far for me. <laughs> yeah, yes. when it comes to fashion, definitely. She she kind of lucked out getting into the Vegas show when she did and like getting getting all of that because it's it really has improved her drag tenfold. And she's only been off the show for at the time of filming, I think three years. And you really can see, and I'm I'm so happy for her that she's getting such mm. positive reception. I think so, it's four yeah. years for her because she, she was, was only years, eleven, right? eleven yeah. yeah. Well, at the yeah, time of filming, it would have been three. Oh, Probably three years nice. since it aired, yes. It's been four years now since she ha was on, since she was on the TV show, but it was three years at the time of filming. Okay. Yes. Or so. um, I'm going to give the first look, because I, I agree, it's safe. I'm going to, but she looks good, so I'm going to give her an 80. Um, The second look is going to be full. Yeah, first one for me, um, 90, and then second look overflowing. Um, the first look for me, I'm gonna give it a 90 because that makeup is flawless. She looks so dang good. But the second look is overflowing. Yeah, I'm gonna give the first look a 69. And the second look is an 85 for me. Mm -hmm. The first look, I'm gonna give an 85. And the second look, the cup is full. Um, the first look, I'm going to give a, a 65, and the second look, I'm going to give a full. A full? Yeah. From Brooke? <laughs> For the first time in cup history. <laughs> I think it might be. <laughs> no, I'm, uh, I'm waiting for the day. I'm waiting for the day when we get a fall from David. That's you got when one. The, you got, one. The you got one. Shockingly, 
Yeah. Oh shit, you're right. Paquita. Still watch our Espanya coverage. Oh. Uh -huh. Please, please check out our Espanya coverage. You hear Candisha that? Moose giving RuPaul. <laughs> 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 He said, famous then, baby, I'm going to give you RuPaul. <laughs> shady. That I was so shady her. of her. But... Get the first look. It's giving Cynthia from Rugrats, I want to say. <laughs> I... Brooke, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I like I the wig. I... <laughs> yeah um i love 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 her hair and makeup in this first look mm. i'm not gonna lie this hair the curls are not flimsy the curls are very sturdy upright <laughs> like i don't know this wig it just doesn't look like a, a normal wig it looks like like a sculpture almost that she just placed on her head like this wig is just perfection the look isn't bad there's something off about the chest area the chest go down to her stomach it's 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 because she doesn't wear tits i think is honestly what it is yeah something is awful i feel like the um the ruffles start a little bit too low i feel like she could have it looks like a little belt pink thing if yeah. the ruffles had started there a little bit higher up you know it would have looked better instead of having you know this blank orange ch like stomach chest area the second look she looks beautiful i don't really get what she is trying to go for i don't remember either yeah i, I love the colors though nice choice of colors she looks visually appealing good <laughs> <laughs> Both of these are giving me like sherbet <laughs> to a degree. Yeah, like yeah, one's more sherbet with mixed with vanilla ice cream. But um, what I like about Candy this season, she already has such an interesting face. But the way that she's doing her makeup, it's like nobody else is doing it quite like she is. And I don't know, it's very severe and gorgeous at the same time. So I really like her face in both of these. Um, I I agree with Mr. Talented on that first look. There, I did notice. I think it's the way her her um, chest is. It the cups there are so small, and you're just used to seeing bigger cups on drag queen. So it it really emphasized like, oh, I have small breasts, which is fine. Um, but it was just a little jarring at first. Um, I guess my bigger issues are with the bottom half. Um, but yeah, uh, both of them are okay for me. Uh, I hate you, Brooke. Um, <laughs> I can't stop seeing that. But because I had a whole different reference when I came in, when that look popped up. But I was like, it's giving me, okay. I don't know if anybody knows this, but very BAPS. Like, oh, yes, very baps like hair, which is very severe, and mm -hmm. I get it. It's sure. Do I like it? It's okay. It's not. It's, al it's almost giving like hair show, right? Like hair right. show, yeah. really much like hair show where it's for art pieces. Like people mm -hmm. do the hair for art pieces, and that's what this is. This is more like an art piece, which. That's fine, and I'm 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 all about that. I'm here for that life. I think I agree with both David and Mr. Talented when the dress. I feel like that white part that's sticking out mm -hmm. should have been like the layers should have been pulled up a little to cover that. Like that's where the ruffles should have started, where that white part is showing. And I I I feel like I understand about the chest part. Because I feel like with her body shape and her proportions, I feel like bigger breasts in that moment would have been, it would have gave that cur that that curve of, you know, the va va Because, like, I feel like we're getting the va va boom in the second one. Like, her hips are just, her hips are hipping and it's just doing it. 
But I'm like, if she would have had that in that first, yeah, just a little, just a little bit more. Not, it, not that it has to be severe, but just a little, like a little chicken cutlet to just give. It, it, doesn't it almost look like it's concave? Like they're going right. It looks it. like the cups are coming inward, which is not a good look on any woman. I don't care who you are, or how big your breasts are. You you don't want your chest part to be coming in like that because. <laughs> It just looks weird. It just looks weird. But I I, I do agree with the sherbet. I do agree with the <laughs> the rug rat. I do agree with all of it. I'm just I, 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 but her face is giving what it Mark. needs to be giving because her makeup Mark. is amazing. Mug. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, to follow up on my comment, uh, I do really love the old school Cynthia look. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Um, it's what I got. That's what I get when I look at it. I know that may not be her reference. That's just the what I get from it. Um, like can you you cannot tell me you cannot imagine Angelica not picking up this doll right now. I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> on the second look, I actually like it. I don't know why I like it because it's not like I like the wig. I really like the wig. Um, I don't know. There's just something about it that's really appealing to me. It might it might just be Candy Muse because I love Candy Muse. Um, but. It's just really appealing, and I will not hesitate to clock her on her bad runways, cough, cough, alien Judy. But, um, you know, I like the second look, and I appreciate the camp of the first look. So, there we go. Yeah, I don't know what was the reference for the, for the famous then, because... And then, of course, Brooke had to, like, Get the vi- the visual the sense. <laughs> baby, that's that baby. That's a RuPaul reference. Oh, that's Is literally really? RuPaul in the supermodel. Mm-hmm. Okay, then never mind. And you call <laughs> yourself a fan of drag? Okay, please <laughs> listen. It's been a long time since like since it's... listen. <laughs> yes, clock me. You will clock me. I will. sure did, and I'll do it again, baby. I love you. Thank, thank, <laughs> you. thank you, thank you. I deserve it. Listen, um, and then second look, I was, I'm pleased by it, but hmm, I I could see more with the dress, but I love the coat, love the coat. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna give this attempt at RuPaul slash Cynthia. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna give her an eighty because of what's happening in the middle. Uh, the second look. I think she looks great. I'm going to give her an 85. Um, for both looks, for me, 80. Um, I am going to give the first look a 48. And I'm going to give the second look a 44. Yes. I'm going to... Oh, I'm going to give her first look an 85. I'm going to give the second look a 75. You know, outside of my personal reference that I get from the first look, <laughs> uh, and it, that did make me enjoy it more, but I will have to remove my personal jokes here. Uh, I don't like it, really. I, I will give it a solid 50 because it's not, like, ugly or anything. It's just not anything spectacular. Uh, the second look, on the other hand, I actually kind of enjoy it. Uh, again, I don't know why. Uh, we're going to give it a 75. I was trying to wait for Lana because I didn't <laughs> but Lana, are you there, Lana? Maybe. I don't know. Perhaps. My poor Lana. Wife. Oh. 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 Are we about to be gooped, gagged, and betriffled? There's Lana. Yes. Are you with us, Lana? Lana is not with us. Okay. <laughs> Are you going to give your scores, Lana? I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm getting a warning. No. Can y'all see me? Can y'all hear me? We see yeah, you. Yeah, we, we can see and hear you perfectly. Oh, okay, because I can't see. Oh, nope. Oh, 
Do you remember what they look like? <laughs> oh, you can't forget Cynthia. Oh, she's gone. And she's, oh, she's gone again. Cynthia Lee Fontaine. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my Not God. Not Cynthia Lee Fontaine. <laughs> yes. Who? <laughs> Hi, Lana. Hi. What happened? I don't know. Because I keep going in and out on my screen. Like, I feel like, okay. Oh, no, you're, you're fine. You're fine for us. Okay, great. Because for me, it's just like taking me in and taking me out of the studio. Uh, but okay. All right. So, my scores. Yes. For the first look, I will give it a 60. Sorry. Yeah. I will give it a 60. And for the second look, I'll give it a 65. Because I like it a little bit more. So, am I the only one who is lower on the second look? Yes. Okay. I just... Didn't even have much to say about it. <laughs> La La Rie. Oh, <sighs> this first outfit. First. Gorge. This really good. Somehow she managed to take that white noise TV screen and make it into a runway look. I think it was shady. Actually, no. No. Do you mean I'm that honest. as... Or as a knock. That's the real. <laughs> oh, me? Yeah. Oh, no. I, I, it was a compliment. Like, it, this doesn't even do it justice. Just the weight. Like, do you all know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about white noise TV screen? Yes. We're just like yes. all the white and black dots. Just, just the static. Just, yep. Yeah. The static and the constant changing. Like, looking at her walking down the runway, I could see like movement in the dots there. Um, mm. It was super impressive. I was I've never seen anything quite like it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I was kind of oh yeah, I see the it. first look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the first look is really nice. The second look, <laughs> she just bought the bodysuit and just cut out the letters and put it on. Cause she was walking back and I saw the subscribe and I saw, you know, little shreds, little like threads. I was like, nah, you just cut this and put it on there. Like literally. I feel like she could have did something better, you know. I feel like she could have, she she thought the same way as Jimbo, but I feel like it could have been done a better way, you know? There are so many other ways that she could have done the second look. I I just, I wish there was, I just wish there was a little bit more thought put into it. I love the concept. I think the concept is really smart. I just wish it had been executed anything better than this. Um... The first look, Gorgina. I'm not in love with the wig. Fair. Very but fair. But I think the garment um, is gorgeous. I wish the wig was bigger. That's honestly really all I needed. Same. Yeah, the garment like steals my focus. So I did not pay attention to the wig. Um, I didn't need to, honestly. But I will say, like, almost any time on Drag Race, I see somebody wearing like a nude uh, illusion outfit. I hate it. Like, I do not like nudes on Drag Race. They never look right. So you must have hated season seven, episode one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. Those were, all, those were all atrocious. The best one was the person not wearing a nude <laughs> because they actually wore their own skin. A couple of them did. Yeah. Okay. I can only remember Violet. Katya. Okay. I think they were the two. Uh, I love, I love <laughs> this first look. I thought this first look was it gave me very like Billy Holiday, Lena Horn vibes. Like it took me there to those golden era Harlem um just beautiful. Uh, I, I, I love that look. I, I will I will wear that for anything like give me a formal occasion i'm putting that dress on and i'm rocking mm -hmm. it and i don't mind the hair because the hair is so i feel so connected to that hair i feel like i feel like that's the style the hairstyle mm -hmm. you would get when you go into those formal events and i remember sitting in hair salons for hours and hours getting my hair up dude and spritzed and sprayed and pinned and poked and coming out and it's like so elegantly right. I love that first look. Second look, mm, 
Okay. I, I love the concept. I, I'm with you, Logan. I love the concept. I feel like if you're going to do all she really needed to do to show that this was the only fans or only fans look was take the letters off, have like a camera, like neck camera thing around and mm-hmm. have it like flashing and or on and web, you know, just give us the, we know what you're doing. You're do, the nude outfit says it all. Put the camera up there. We know it's only fans. You got it. The, the letters just don't look right. Mm-hmm. It just it doesn't give what needs to be given, but yeah. Mm-hmm. And then Ruli fans also was not a good pun. No, no. it, really <laughs> it wasn't. It, it wasn't. It wasn't a good pun at all. <laughs> it really wasn't. <laughs> it really wasn't. No. And the wig is atrocious. <laughs> the wig. The wig is a true. Oh, wig. Not, not a fan of the second wig. The it's a wiggy wig, wig, wig. Oof. That looks very crunchy to me. And oof. The no. boots are kind of nice, I guess. Oh, I love the shoe. The shoes. The shoes are good. Love the shoe. Love the shoe. That's love the only shoe. thing I can like about this outfit. Okay. And Two y'all know quote. how I feel about my black queens. Sorry, Laura. <laughs> Sorry, do not mean to speak with you. Uh, so. To quote Lullery herself, watch my run rays gag their throats. Uh, I am entirely gagged by the first look. The first look is incredible. Um, I'm gagged the by second both. one is a look, and I will leave it at that. I'm gagged by both in different ways. <laughs> that too. Relax your throat. Because you're... <laughs> Come on, Miss Widow. Are we all good? Yeah, we're good. Great. Uh, the first look, uh, Miss Lalaurie is going to get a 90. And the second look is going to get a 12 for the shoot. <laughs> first. Um, first look, it's full. It'll have been overflowing, but the wig. So, um, And then the second look, 10. Oh. Uh. The first look overflowing. I love it. I can't. Everything about it is perfection for me. The second look, two for the shoes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give the first look, oh man, I'm going to give it a 92. I was considering higher, but I think wow. you all talked me down. I really like this a lot. Um, the second look, I'm going to give it a 15. David giving a higher score than I told me. you. My my <laughs> lows me. are not as low as your alls. <laughs> I'm a centrist, I guess. <laughs> yeah, the first look is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, you're good. I interrupted you. You're fine. Uh, um, the first look is 95. The second look, I'm surprised no one did this, but I really don't like the shoes at all. So I'm gonna have to plead. You know, actually, no, because the bodysuit really matches her skin complexion very well. Jeez. I'm going to give her that. So, I'm honestly, I'm going to give her a 30. The bodysuit is okay. it, it matches her oh, nice. Okay. It, it does. definitely does. You bumped her up 30 <laughs> spots. <laughs> <laughs> nah, um, the bodysuit is actually think the two, because I do agree with the bodysuit, because it does match her skin. Per- okay, I'll give it a, a three. I'll give, no, I'll give it a 15 for the bodysuit because us dark skinned queens have to, we don't have stuff that looks like us too, too often. So the fact that she found one that is perfectly matched, 15. Uh, so the first runway is absolutely 1000% overflowing. Um, I don't get what y'all are saying about the wig. I think it works really well with the outfit. I don't think it really needs to be much more. I agree. I just um, wanted a little bit draggier. The first that's, all, that's all for me. Totally get it. Just for me, I think I think it's really cohesive. Um, and I think also to me, the point of reference is is like everything below that, right? And the wig is just a nice accessory here. Um, however, Mr. Talented, I think you were right to begin with. As much as I love Ms. Lalari, I will be pleading the Pomara fifth on the second look. Wow, you can't get more extreme than that. In <laughs> Well, you could. You could. Yeah, body I will never, ever give Miss Lollaby a broken, cl- broken cup. She does not even <laughs> qualify for the consideration. No, broken cup is still a score. Broken cup comes above pleading. 
No. Uh-uh. No, the broken cup is I refuse to eat. Pleading is just like whatever. I don't Pleading like is it. not even having a cup. No, the broken cup. Right. Is, yeah, broken that part. I was going to say. And therefore, mm. I for you. That I is thought the broken problem. cup was just you missed the assignment. Yeah. That's that's what I've always understood it as. Mm-hmm. Montica Beverly Hills is this is this is this. Beautiful perfection, gorgeous, never been the same. Throw it in a blender, vomit on it, shit on it, give birth to it. Amazing. <laughs> okay. Look one. I'm glad you have such a high opinion about both of these looks. Look one. Look oh. one. <laughs> look one. Look I'm one. glad you have such a high opinion on look one. <gasps> Look one. Is no, crazy. look one. Look one is good. I really love the the wing piece. I like it. Look one is good. It is. Um, look two, baby. Um, Kim Petras. Kim Petra. If you are doing the reference and don't know her goddamn <laughs> name, don't do the reference. Exactly. Um, I get her probably wanting to do someone trans, famous now. How much of a gag would it have been for her to do Sasha Colby or Kerry Colby? Well, Sasha Colby wasn't on the show yet. Yeah, but she's still, you know, a trans famous person in the drag community. I think that would have been like, she would have had to know like six steps ahead. Right. And true. given the fact that we know Monica was barely prepared for the competition as a whole, I don't think she would have been thinking that far ahead. Yeah. And that's just no shade. That's uh, mm-hmm. that's what she said. So yeah. I just don't like the Kim Petra look. It's not horrible, but I, I don't like it. Yeah. Again, Kim Petra. <laughs> Kim Petra. Kim Petra. <laughs> There's also the whole Kim Petra controversy, which is you know, something that could be brought up more, but we shall leave it for now. Um, it is a choice of a reference. I will say that. Um, I loved. I liked the first look. I really liked the first look. I think she looks gorgeous. Um, when she turned the corner, I was like, "Yes, love that." Um, the second look. If it wasn't for the boots, there would be nothing for me to talk about. So, there we go. The boot is cute. I don't even need the boot to go with the outfit. It doesn't. That's the whole problem. That's the problem. The boot does not go with the outfit. But the boot is a gorgeous boot. If I I would rock that boot, but not with that outfit. So, yeah. Yeah. When, When I saw her come out in that first look, I gasped. But the more I looked at it, I was like, well, it really is just a really decent bodysuit with a cape behind it. Like, you you start to pick apart things the more you see it. But I still overall do like it. I think it's very good for her, especially. Um, the second one, it's like she went back in time. She was on season five, and now she's on season two. I don't know. It was a step backwards. So I was hoping to see better from her than this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Also the length of where the bodysuit ends on the first ball. on the first look is a weird length mm-hmm. too. And mm-hmm. she could have did without the chains. She could have did without those. Yeah, if you go on her Instagram you see it better, but she could have did without the chains. Yes. The chains around the neck? Yeah. No, the chains around um the leg, the leg yeah. area. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't even see them. Well, well the, the chains are to hide the fact that the bodysuit ends at a weird length. Yeah, yeah I think so. Because mm-hmm. oh. I see seeing the bodysuit, like is it like a, just above the ankle or like real above the ankle? No, it's, it's on it's her like Instagram, real it's above. real above. Real above? Okay. It's so. like half. Like yeah, half. it's like I'm not sure if you guys can see it properly. Okay. Wow. Wait, hold on. Let me let me turn on the bright. Yeah, turn your turn off your brightness. Yeah, it's like right ah, down there. Okay. Now, baby, no. Yeah, that that's yeah. what I. I mean, yep. okay, but yeah, yeah. I mean, I do still like it to an extent because, like, I love what she, um she, like she's doing here, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, the, again, it's just the leg parts, like, what does it for me, unfortunately, and then of course the second out. The second one. 
Yeah. Again, love the shoes at least, but everything else. Yes. Uh... The the Cleopatra, I think the bodysuit looks really good. I don't love the length. I think the unfortunately, I think the cape looks cheap. It Very looks much. too thin. It look it looked worse on the runway walking than it does here, which is unfortunate. But I do love everything that's happening in the face and the hair and all of that. I think yeah, the headpiece good. also looks really good and. This picture isn't really showing us that very well, but it's not a great head. I did not take this photo. Mm -hmm. So um, the second look, I like the wig and I like the shoe. End of story. Um, I like the wig. Really? It's a fine wig. It is. It's no, I like fine. the wig. Yeah. It's I fine like for season wig. two. L O L. Wow. Um, the first look, I'm going to give Miss Montica Beverly Hills a 69. And the second look, it's a 30. All right. for the um, yeah. First look for me, also 69. And then second look, 20. First look, I did a 50. It was all right. It was pretty. I liked it at first, but then the more you stare at it, you see all the flaws. And it's like, yeah. oh, that's mm -hmm. so. So, yeah, 50. Mm, that second look, child. Child. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get out of mm, the shoes. The shoes. Look at a 10. The shoes. <laughs> that's about it. Um, I guess I like the first look more than you all. I'm going to give it a 72. Um, the second look, maybe a 19. Mm -hmm. The first look, I'm going to give a 70. The second look, I'm going to give a 20. Um, I also agree with David here. I really <laughs> first look, as I clearly mentioned earlier with my amazing art reference. I uh, love it. Um, but uh, to keep it, make it fun to uh, keep the whole 69 joke going, it's going to be at 96. Um, mm -hmm. The second look. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fair. I, I mean, honestly, it was up there for me when I first saw it. I mean, it, so. when you first saw it, I, I agree. But I when you look at it. Okay, I, also, I, that the cape looks cheap. I don't think it looks cheap at all. But that's, again, besides the point. We will not agree. We shall move on because we are already at a minute, an hour 42, and we have an <laughs> and a half to get through. So let's keep going. Uh, the yeah. second look, I don't like it at all. Honestly, I didn't get a comment on it. I don't like it, like, period. So uh, it's getting a two because the shades are nice, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you should have averaged those two scores you gave and gave it to both looks. No, <laughs> I re I completely respect the opinion. Mrs. Kasha Davis. Mother Mrs. Kasha Davis. <laughs> oh, no. Um, my word fear yeah. is coming true. Oh, no. We kind of knew it was going to happen. This is better than... I didn't want to believe it, Mr. Talented, okay? <laughs> I wanted to believe that she had improved her fashions. She, no, she, she ate this first look though. Like that she did a good look. job. No, she, I love the first look. Mm -hmm. She did a the good first job. Look, I love it. I love this baby pink. Then with the auburn wig, like I do, I really like that color combination. The headpiece looks good. She looks expensive. The second look, she took her Liza Minnelli outfit because she didn't have anything else to wear and said, "No, I'm going to hold a phone and it's going to be Chris Jenner." Mm -hmm. Which I was, was afraid. Is of. that not Liza? No, she was no. going for Chris Jenner. Oh. This was her special outfit because I saw I saw her do Liza at DragCon. Mm -hmm. It was basically the same look. You know, apparently Liza Minnelli has outlived her being considered classic drag now. Uh, a classic, <laughs> right? <laughs> but <laughs> it's classic for her. Uh -huh. Sure. <laughs> hey, <laughs> no. uh -huh. hey, look, I'm old. I can say that. That's true. Um, this was her snatch game outfit, and she just added the phone. 
I can't wait to make it to snatching. Nah. Not, if she says to Rue, I was gonna do Liza, but I used the look for the um the famous <laughs> the famous now. <laughs> no, and honestly, I'm Scorchy Davis still doing Liza Minnelli in this in the same outfit. <laughs> no, no, no. What if this is her Chris Jenner and she comes out with the same look for Liza? <laughs> What if uh, that would be so bold to wear the same outfit twice? I would to live. wear the same outfit. I would twice. live though. She I should do not. it. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, I think the first look is pretty good. Um, my expectations for her were not very high when it comes to fashion, so I'm pleased with what I got in that first look. Sure, it could have been a lot better, but I'm not going to complain about it. The second look, yeah, that was very disappointing. It felt so small, too, just walking down the runway. Uh, even, like, you can't see her shoes, so she just, it almost felt like she was walking, like, in flats. Even though she's probably not, but you can't tell. She's wearing so, a heel, because you can see, and on the left side, you can see a little yeah, bit of, you can like, see where the, the heel goes on. But. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, I was disappointed with this, for sure. I hate the wig. Which wig or both? Uh, the the Liza slash Chris look with wig. I mean, it is impeccable Liza Minnelli wig. I can't even be mad. But yeah. It, mm. When Mrs. Kasha Davis said "momager," I was just like, "Oh no!" <laughs> like, Mama I guess I guess not to Alexis Michelle being Chris Jenner and Kim Kardashian the Ruskull, but. I digress, but love, love the first outfit. Like again, the, the old, the old Hollywood glamour of it all. Love it, Lana. I don't like me, Lana. <laughs> what? Wow. wow! You wouldn't wear that first look? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> I think the split is very wrong and too high and it's just off. It's just off. I don't like it. It don't, it's not, it's not flattering to her. I, I mean, the wig is good. Sure. Mm -hmm. I think her face is great. She's painted like, like that's flawless, but I don't like any of the look. I don't think any, either look is a strong look. I don't, I mean, it, it, either you wearing a mini dress or you wearing a full dress. What are you doing? Like, I don't get it. I don't get the, I don't, I don't get it. I don't like it. I'm not a fan. See, my oh. problem look is I really do not think the wig goes with the outfit like at all. Oh, I, I do. I mean, it really don't, but that's the only good thing about this outfit is the wig. So See, I like the wig and I like the outfit. I just don't like them together. I wish it was like a different color. Because I think she's going for like 40 Lucille Ball. Lucille Ball. Just, yeah, Lucille Ball. And that is kind of the that wig of that time period. So for me, the wig fits, but I do I understand the darker it's red. not the style of the wig, it's the color. What color, color would be yeah. better? The color, is very, the color is very Kasha Davis, and I think that's where she put her own spin on it. And for <laughs> that, I like it. What I will say, I do uh, I do think it would have been more effective with a darker wig. But I don't mind the Auburn wig in this scenario, but I, I see what y'all are saying. Um, I think I like this better than I would have a darker wig, to be honest. Okay. It, I, I feel like if you're saying you're not to Lucille Ball, then you need to give us a Lucille Ball. That's too Auburn. Lucille Ball is much redder than that. Yeah. So I would need that pop of red. For, but sure. I, but that's, I, I mean, it, there's really nothing you can do for me in this outfit. In this whole look, so <laughs> I'm not the one. Oh, really? I don't really like it at all. I don't like okay. either look. Okay. Well, I'm about to give scores that Lana's not going to like. Um, do we all we all we all talked? We all yes, mm -hmm. great, yeah. love it. Mm -hmm. uh, the first look is going to be a 90. Mm -hmm. The second look, it's a great Liza. <laughs> but for, <laughs> for the category at hand, it's going to be a 40. Okay. And I think uh, that might even be too generous, honestly. Which is fair. <clears throat> but I'm gonna um, give it. All right. For me, first look is a 96. And then second look, 
I have nothing to say about either look, so pass. <gasps> you pleading no, on both no, of these? On both of them, absolutely. That's something, yo. Okay. Pass the Pomara fit. Wow. <laughs> 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 pass me a Pomara. They're not that bad. I don't have anything yeah, nice to say about them. Fan. I don't like <laughs> any of them. I'm sorry. That's okay. I think I get what you're saying at this point, especially with this being so late into the list of looks. It's like meh. But I'll give the first one a 59. And then the second one, I think, is maybe a 27. Yeah, her first one, I'm going to give an 85. The second one, I'm probably gonna have to plead y'all i don't want to do it i really don't because i love her uh the first look is like 40 it's a little bit below average but it's fine and i hate doing this to mrs kasha davis because i love her so much baby just do it we're we're low on time you didn't (laughs) of the runway this is not current so my apologies, but Mrs. Kasha Davis will be receiving a broken cup. Ooh. Okay. I also would like to point out you are the only person who ever uses a broken cup. Yeah, it's just my thing. <laughs> so we're now to the final yet. of the mini challenge look. <laughs> nah. from Ms. Nasha Lopez. Cool. I wasn't okay. mad at these looks, honestly. No. I was not mad at these looks. I cool. love this. Like the that first, first look. look that first look, I was like, okay. It, it's so I, different for Nisha. And I'm pretty sure that's because I'm pr- 97% sure that's a Kamara Hall look. But she looks great. I just wish it had a better shape on her. It just looks kind of loose. Let loose. It <laughs> does. It was, <laughs> <laughs> it was baggy. But... I feel like she could have even given us a different reference with it, like a different, you know, ref- reference for it. Like if she had added a purse, I could see this being Princess um, Queen. I'm so sorry, Queen Elizabeth. Yeah. I could That's honestly see it being Elizabeth. like Queen Elizabeth. Wait, she doesn't have a purse. No, no. That's a I don't think she was going. She she wasn't going for Queen Elizabeth, but if she had a purse, I could see it being Queen Elizabeth. I don't remember the reference. I don't remember, but. I yeah, mean, it is a good look. It's giving it me very Coco Chanel, very, very. Oh, um, I think it was Chanel, actually. Now that I, I think it was, that, I believe I mean, it was a Chanel reference. It, it's giving me very Coco Chanel, very uh, Jackie Kennedy, Jackie yeah. Erasmus Kennedy. I, I mean, I, I see that, and I'm not mad at that. I actually like it. I will say, I think Deja Sky did it better, but I don't mm-hmm. mind this. I don't know who Deja Sky is, but okay. L O L. Well, you haven't watched these 14 so. Yeah. No. You saw a picture of her earlier. Did I? You sure did. The one, yeah, that was good. the one with the makeup. We ain't going to say anything about it on right. air. Right. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, also, I I wish I liked the second look better. I don't know. The patterns just kind of clash in a way that I don't enjoy. Um, uh, the, it almost reminds me of chewed bubble gum. But it's been kind of stretched it. out. I don't know. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's just not great. And I don't like that wig. It's just so stringy and flat. And yeah, it's very referential to Donatella Versace, but I still do not like it. I want to see it dragged up and not this thin, stringy hair. Y'all keep on talking about different references, and maybe it's just like the middle like the torso portion of the outfit but the second look reminded me very much of like uh carrie colby's j-lo runway like, <laughs> well, that's versace, maybe. is it versace okay yeah, I, that I, is I, versace fashion references are not my thing um but you know um that's the then- j-lo when she walked out too but carrie like, oh, i'm bad she didn't say j-lo because that, that, I, I when she turned the corner i was like oh that's a j-lo I was, I was like, she's getting like, J-Lo Versace. And she's she only like, oh, said no. Versace. Versace. I was like, oh, okay. And um, I'm not liking her eye makeup either. I'm just seeing black circles. It looks like charcoal just plopped on her that face. That is kind of the way that she usually does her makeup. Right. And I don't hair, like it. But, yeah. I don't the usually first, like Nisha. <laughs> the first look is giving me like that Corella DeVille color palette that I really enjoy. So I'm here for that. Um, and also, I love a good button-up coat. So I, I, I'm I'm thoroughly. Mm-hmm. 
scores? What Brandon has not. Said. I didn't say anything. I yet. also have not. No, yeah, so I I agree, like really like this. Um, but yeah, it, it is a little like big, but don't mind it. That's that's just me though. And I'm of course sure she took it from somebody else. <laughs> Fair. And then of course, like I also got JLo Versace for the second one. <laughs> because like again, she she also Nisha also did um go, um perform with JLo too, so mm-hmm. that is true. Yeah, I like the first look. I like the Chanel reference. Again, the fit. Again, I'm pretty sure this is someone else's garment. Um, <laughs> the second look, it's giving, oh, I got eighth in swimwear competition at Miss <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Which I'm pretty sure she won swimwear the year she won Continental. Um, <laughs> but, oh, yeah, it's so fine. Fine. It's <laughs> But... Uh, the first look, I'm going to give an 85. The second look is going to be a 75. Um, both for me, uh, I think, will be 80. Um, I would say 80 for the first look, 65 for the second look. I'm going to give the first one an even 50. And then the second one, let me give that a 41. Mm-hmm. Her first look, 85. It's just a fit, but 85. Mm-hmm. The second look, um, 75. That was me. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, yeah, first look is a 85, and the second look is a 55. Work Diva Hunty Muma. That last. Are you remember Logan? Money, success, fame, and I don't. I don't Glamour. 